No shelter in place order for our state tonight. Instead, a plea for each and every one of us to step up by staying in and reach out to our family to do the same. Right now, there are more than 1,500 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the state, up about 200 from last night, and 83 people have died from the virus. Today, Governor Jay Inslee sent a letter to the president requesting a federal major disaster declaration for the state. Now, that would open the door for more federal assistance. There are now more than 18,000 cases of coronavirus across the country. And today, New York and Illinois joined California in ordering all of their residents to stay in their homes. Our team coverage begins tonight with Kyra 7 Deborah Horn. And Deborah, today, our governor stopped short of issuing an order to require social distancing. But Monique, he says that he could do that, especially if more people, particularly young people, don't comply. Now, we talked to a young woman whose nasal swab ended up here at the University of Washington Medical Lab, where she tested positive for coronavirus. I think that younger people have this um, double may care attitude. They think that it can't happen to them. But it did happen to 37 year old Elizabeth Schneider. We first met her two weeks ago in Seattle. Sick. She Skyped from her parents' home in Arizona, where she is recuperating from the coronavirus. I was so tired, and you know, I could barely get out of bed just to use the restroom and take a shower and eat dinner. And then I just wanted to go back into bed. You know, so I think it is, you know, something that will definitely hit you. Stay home. Stay home. Governor Jay Inslee sounded more like dad in chief as he hammered that message again Friday. <laughs> Apparently spurred by scenes like this at Alki Beach of mostly young people ignoring his social distancing order, potentially putting their elders at risk. That is not responsible behavior. And if you're seeing an 18 year old doing that, tell them they're going to get cut out of the will if they don't behave because we have got to be serious about this virus. And uh, if they don't respect that, tell them they're going to hear from the governor. That's Elizabeth Schneider's message, too, especially after an innocent party where she thinks she was exposed. Almost half of us came down with what I presume is the coronavirus. So I think people need to take precautions and need to be a little bit worried. Now, Schneider is now a part of two research studies, one of them here at the University of Washington, those studies to help figure out a vaccine for this virus. Now, she says it took her eight or nine days to really feel normal. Again, proof that no matter how young you are, if you come down with a coronavirus, well, it is one nasty disease. Reporting live in Seattle, Deborah Horn, Carol 7 News.